Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the afternoon of uh, Tuesday, uh, February 14th. Ooh, Valentine's Day. Mm, I hope you guys gave each other some Valentines. Something more than flowers, guys. Yoo-hoo! How about some Pandora from Jared? Uh, yeah. Well, today's comment is a disturbing comment uh, about my story about Davy Crockett. And this affects you guys as American citizens, and you guys especially from Tennessee. It's an embarrassment what I have to tell you. When I did this story... In the decades that I've been searching it, uh, Davy Crockett is a composite. And this is what I tried to explain to people in Tennessee, especially Senator Marsha Blackburn, the Republican senator from Tennessee. Is she that extremist that doesn't understand this? I have no idea. But anyway, her office uh, in Knoxville. <laughs> cut me off and said, oh, well, you got to call the state of Florida where you're from, boy, because this is, uh, doesn't relate to Miss Marsha Blackburn. Uh, she is representing the state of Tennessee, right? Okay. And it, it, it's an injustice, really, to both, to all three people involved here, Davy Crockett, John Crockett, and Davy Crockett. Let me explain. Davy Crockett is a composite that was created by John Crockett. The frontiersman that you see on the ballot for Davy Crockett with the King Coon skin cap and the uh, coat and everything and fighting the Indians, uh, yes. That's Davy Crockett, the father of John Crockett, grandfather of Davy Crockett from the Alamo, 1729, eight, uh, 1777. And like Daniel Boone, which my sources say that they probably met because they were in the same places at almost the same time, and they probably were in the 1755 disaster campaign in Fort Duquesne against uh, the French by British General Braddock, uh, yeah, which brought about the French and Indian War. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, Daniel Boone, as you can read in this history, he went across Cumberland Gap in 1775, created... Boonesboro, okay, yes, okay, and, uh, well, in 1778, the Pawnee decided to attack Boonesboro, so Daniel Boone got himself uh, freed from the Pawnee, he was one of their captors, and he went back, and they went and got, sent people to get help across the Cumberland Gap to Virginia, which was the state that controlled that territory of Kentucky, uh, okay, uh, and uh, they decided to fight for it. So the colonists held Boonesboro and uh, also tried to burn it out. They tried to really burn it out, and when they did, somebody upstairs decided that Daniel Boone's a good guy. He's a big man, so we'll help him, and the guy from upstairs opened up the floodgates and it rained. So therefore, the fire got put out, Boonesboro was spared, and uh, the Indians, well, the uh, militia came in 350 miles from Virginia, and, uh, well, they clobbered them. They clobbered the uh, Pawnee big time. Uh, Daniel Boone uh, escaped a few months later. Well, uh, he uh, got thrown out of Boonesboro forever. He never went back to Boonesboro after that. He had a disagreement with the other settlers based on that little uh, altercation. And you don't tell that in history either, people. You know? So he ended up in Missouri. He got buried in Missouri in 1820. You unburied him and put him in Frankfort, Kentucky. Uh -huh. That's where he's buried now, supposedly, right? Yes. But he's getting honorary... You know, he's still honored in Missouri, and he's still honored in Frankfort, Kentucky. Yay for Danny. And my name is Danny, so I say, yay, Danny. Uh, yeah. Now, Davy Crockett, on the other hand, didn't fare so well. Davy Crockett, the grandfather, 1729 to 1777, he went over to Tennessee. 
or he was part of North Carolina. Uh, yeah. Oh. And uh, he established a little colony there. Landscape. It wasn't really a, a, a thing yet. Okay. And I'll come to this later. Uh, and uh, the uh, Cherokee decided, hey, we don't want you guys in here. You guys go back to your own belly wig and we'll kick you and drop kick you into North Carolina if we have to. And he sent help to, uh, he sent John Crockett, his son, and some people to go get help from North Carolina. And the North Carolinians were, they weren't like the Virginians. Remember, this is the uh, Revolutionary War people. Hey, uh, um, so they told him to go stick it. We're busy over here with the red coats. Uh, yeah, we don't have no reason to go over there to that misery of uh, wilderness over there and tackle those uh, Cherokee. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they took a time coming back. Meanwhile, the Cherokee uh, Indians attacked the settlement and uh, wiped out the settlement. Uh, and, uh, well, Davy Crockett, well, he deserved a better fate, unlike Daniel Boone, which had the divine intervention from upstairs. Uh, nothing happened, and he got killed. Uh, and he suffered the Custer, so him and his wife got killed there. I mean, he got arrows all over the place. Nobody ever counted the arrows. I wonder if Custer had more arrows or uh, to poor Davy Crockett. Two guys that loved him. Colonel Amos and Joseph Rogers were two fellow Hunagunats, okay? Mr. Rogers, Joseph Rogers, eventually set up a town there and he called it uh, Rogersville, Tennessee. And he buried Mr. and Mrs. Crockett and he gave him a nice burial for 1700s. For the 1700s, uh, that was a nice burial they gave it to him. Well, two and a half centuries later, it's a deplorable situation for them. And you can't blame Mr. Rogers because he gave him a nice burial. And you go to the burial that he has, even himself is buried in there. And it's in the housing district. <laughs> Boy, embarrassing, huh? It's it's dilapidated. And for a guy like Davy Crockett deserves better because he was known to you guys through Walt Disney and history as the uh, king of the wild frontier. Uh, yeah, okay. John Crockett, he got the, the property that he had. He sold it to Mr. Amos and Mr. Rogers. And he left and went over the limestone, Tennessee. And in 1786, Davy Crockett from the Alamo was born there. And on the, those historians that say that he was born in limestone, Tennessee, he was born in limestone. And it was Franklin territory. Yoo-hoo! Until there was annexed in 1789 by North Carolina. So to me, there should be a yippee to Davy Crockett from the Alamo and a yippee to his grandfather for that. Two different guys who John Crockett, the son in the middle, put together as one. So what do you say, Americans? There's an injustice being done here and nobody wants to do a damn thing about it. Good day.